Okay guys, I'm exhausted. I just got to Hong Kong. In case you missed my last video, the only reason that I am in Hong Kong is because I needed another place to go after I went to China in order to go back to Japan because I did the whole transit visa thing. So I just chose the cheapest place to go for a few days and then go to China. So I'm in Hong Kong for a few days. And I've actually never been to Hong Kong before, nor have I actually ever really had any interest coming here, but it was the cheapest option. So here I am. Because I wasn't that interested in it, I didn't like splurge on a hotel or anything I just got like a cheap hotel and I'm just here for two days but I just got to this hotel room and it is so much more bougie than I thought it was like I really did not pay much for this but they really showed out I'm on the 26th floor the only thing that this view reminds me of so much is Rio Brazil because there's like mountains with all these buildings in it and the only other place I've been where they do that is Rio but genuinely this view is crazy when I tell you guys that I am exhausted I woke up at 5 a.m to get my flight at nine in Shanghai. And then it was like a three hour flight here. Took me like an hour and a half to get out of the airport and then took me an hour to get to the hotel. Bitch, I'm tired. Since I'm only here for like two days, I'm honestly not even gonna try to do like all of the touristy stuff. I'm also behind on so much fucking work that I need to do. So my plan in Hong Kong is to kind of just like chill out and like just go to different cafes, do what I need to do, see what I stumble upon and see what the city's like. Actually, yeah, quickly, let me show you guys this hotel room. It is kind of dingy, but for the view and the space of the room in Hong Kong, this is a really fucking good price. I'm staying at Wan Chai, I don't know if I'm saying it right, Wan Chai 88 Hotel. It's giving, especially for what I paid for it. But yeah, obviously this is my view. It's literally insane. The bed is honestly giving like a Japan vibe and you can tell like the room is like really spacious for a hotel room. Also have this huge like desk space. Here's the whole vanity situation, this is cute. And then if we go into the bathroom, this is honestly a vibe. This is really nice. Y'all, it's a rain shower. I cannot complain when there's a rain shower. And then of course the toilet. But yeah, that's the whole room. I definitely feel like this is really good for what I paid for it. I think this was literally like $100 for two nights. I will say I think that the receptionist liked me, so he gave me a better room. Or I'm just fucking delusional. And I think that about literally everybody that I have an encounter with. I'm like, oh my god, they must have liked me. Bitch, no. This is probably just the last room available. Y'all, as soon as I stepped outside, I realized how hot it was here. I was like, oh my god, this sucks. And like carrying around a suitcase. I'm not gonna let that fucking stop me. I'm used to that shit in Japan. But this place, like first impressions, like just walking to the hotel, I was like, whoa. Like this is so much different than I thought it was. There's so many palm trees and it's very international. Like there's foreigners everywhere. A lot of people speak English too. Like I really did not expect all of this. While I was on the train, I was like, wait, what if I really like it here? So I started looking up the rent prices bitch the rent here is literally like new york it's the same as new york prices so i was like um no like i'm never fucking living here with those prices i'm talking like four thousand dollars for like a one bedroom apartment decent oh uh, the only thing that sucks is i already kind of feel like i'm losing time it's literally 3 16 right now and tomorrow is like my only full day and then the next day i leave i did not have much time to do a lot of research about like the places that i want to go to here however nearby there is this one cafe that i do want to try and i also need to get a bunch of work done so i'm going to try to kill two birds with one stone i also really need to go to uniqlo and buy underwear because I just ran out of underwear in China and I don't know how to wash it anywhere. So I need to just buy underwear in Uniqlo. Oh, y'all, literally what is my life? Like I just walked in here into this hotel room and I was like, why am I here? This is so weird. I'm just here in Hong Kong alone for literally like no reason, literally just for like transportation purposes. And I always just think about like what Ryan as a teenager would think of me now because he'd be like, what the fuck? How did you end up doing all of this? But y'all, let's do a little view check. Look at how crazy this is. There's buildings everywhere and there's mountains with buildings on them. I think that Hong Kong might be a vibe. So let's go find out. Y'all, my first look at the streets of Hong Kong. I actually cannot express how nice it is just to be in a country where I don't have to use Alipay or WeChat anymore. When I was in China, I ran into just so many issues every single day trying to pay for things. And here I was able, oh, this is cute. Okay, wait, this is giving. 
thinking that these buildings are so fucking tall though but anyway when i was taking the train to get to my hotel i ran into an issue trying to pay for the train at the machine because it only took cash come to realize the machine like the ticket gate that you go through to go into the train station literally takes apple pay oh my god the fact that i can just fucking use apple pay here like no problems it's such a blessing like i cannot believe i really missed my apple pay y'all i just passed by a sukiya it's like i'm back in japan y'all know i love sukiya i can't lie though y'all the crowds of people here are overwhelming me a little bit i do think i am in a very touristy area y'all i literally know nothing about hong kong like please just bear with me i'm just fucking here like i pulled up and i'm here and i'm going to get a damn coffee but the crowds like the streets are so busy of like literally people from hong kong and also just foreigners everywhere that i'm assuming live here one thing about vlogging in asia is i feel like it's kind of easier because a lot of people don't really know what you're talking about it's a little bit more scary because i'm passing by so many people who speak english so i'm like i don't know it really is like the pictures like all these buildings with like air conditioners oh my god y'all another thing about hong kong i can fucking use google maps here in china i had to use baidu maps or whatever it's called and there's no english on there so it was so difficult to get around but here i'm just using my google maps and it makes me so happy everything is so accessible here okay slight problem that i feel like i always fucking run into in every country i go to this is the line for the place that i found i did find it on tiktok so that's who to blame for this situation but it's really fucking busy here so i'm actually just not gonna fucking go here <laughs> i'm just not gonna go <laughs> i need somewhere like now and this line is giving like 30 minutes to an hour to even just sit down so it's not happening uh i really wanted to go there the stuff on tiktok looks so good maybe i'll go tomorrow morning hold on y'all i need to like go sit in a fucking corner and like figure out what the hell i'm doing because i just like walked out of the hotel with like no plan other than this hold on y'all let me figure out what i'm doing Hey y'all, I made it to a Uniqlo. I had to walk like 20 minutes to get here, but right now I'm debating which underwear I should get. Should I even talk about this on YouTube? I don't know. Like, I don't know if anyone cares about the underwear. Actually, I don't want to hear it. Okay, I want to put you guys on though. This Arism underwear is literally amazing. It's so thin, so it's like really easy to pack and it literally feels like you're not wearing underwear when you wear it. And they're also like 900 yen in Japan, so what, like $6? Wait, they also have them like this kind. It's still Arism, so. Okay, so for Hong Kong dollars, I have to divide by eight and that's the US dollar amount. So this is 80 Hong Kong dollars, so it's 10 US dollars. TBH, I think I'm gonna get these two. These ones are the ones like without a band and these ones have a band. I don't care about this. Like. I I honestly don't really know why I'm filming this, but this is the reality of traveling alone all the time. Like sometimes you just gotta do shit like this. But one thing that's so cool about Uniqlo self-checkout, you just drop it in there and then it detects it. Okay, now that that's done, you guys know what I really want to do. I really want a fucking bubble tea, but I don't know any place in Hong Kong that has bubble tea. If you know me, and especially if you watched my last video, you know that I was obsessed with the tea in China. So I really want a bubble tea here. Hi. <laughs> Those girls were like staring at me. I guess the area that I'm in right now is called Times Square because this hay tea is at Times Square shop. Okay, let's go there. I actually heard about hay tea, but I never went to hay tea in China, but apparently it's good. So we're gonna try it. Hey. <laughs> it's the girls. Y'all, it definitely took me a second to find hay tea, but I found it. Here she is. Um, update y'all, that definitely was not a self-checkout situation. And I have no idea what the fuck I just ordered, but I think I got what I wanted. We're about to find out, but it looks really good. I ordered a coconut mango drink. Another thing to add is I have seen like a bunch of people my age walking around and they are in like huge groups of friends, like international people, like foreigners. And it makes me feel really fucking lonely. Cause I'm like, what the fuck? I'm literally just here by myself and I'm seeing all these people have fun. Like I don't have friends y'all these group of teenagers were like staring at me so i ran away i got my drink and i'm gonna try it right here i'm gonna try it right here on the street because i literally have nowhere else to try it oh my god it tastes just like the drink that i had in china i'm addicted to this coconut shit oh my god y'all i'm so exhausted <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.
Good morning. Hey. I still can't believe this. Like, the fact that this exists is crazy. I just woke up and I'm so tired. Ah! It's 11 p.m. Not p.m. That would be even worse. It's 11 a.m. I found a place on TikTok to get breakfast that's apparently really popular. It looks really good, so I'm gonna go there, but I have to get ready first. So let's get ready. He is ready to go out into the city of Hong Kong. Y'all, I don't know if I really like my outfit today. I get a lot of questions about these sandals. These are from Lab Musician. I forgot where the pants are from. Shirt is Mason Prince. Hat, I thrifted. I also get a lot of questions about this hat because it has like stars on it. Hello? I also get a lot of questions about this hat because it has stars on it. I, it's thrifted. I don't know where you can get it. Let's go explore Hong Kong. Yay! I look like an egg from this angle. Like if my hair is just crushed with this hat. Hi. <laughs> I'm low-key freaking out. I went to go pay and then it said cash only. I literally have no cash and I told them that I have no cash and I was like, oh my god, they're literally gonna tell me that I have to fucking do dishes. Like, I don't know what the fuck to do because it's very like hole in the wall type of place. But they fully just trusted me to go to the ATM. They were like, go to the station, go to the ATM, get cash. So that's what I'm doing. I have to go back. I'm gonna be like a law-abiding citizen and actually pay because I fully could just walk off because they're so trusting. But of course I'm gonna pay. Cause I'm a good citizen, so I'm getting my cash and I'm gonna go back and pay. But that was so scary. I was like, oh my god, they're gonna like scream at me, like kill me. Cash is secured. I literally just got a hundred Hong Kong dollars because this is my last day in Hong Kong. I don't need anything else. I think this is like 12 US dollars or something, but my meal was only 60 Hong Kong dollars. So this is all I need. I just got to a spot where I can explain what happened. When I found out about this restaurant, I completely forgot about the fact that you literally just sit with a bunch of strangers at a table, which I've never done in my life before. I also have social anxiety. Which I know I don't seem like it, but I literally do. I know y'all are in the comments like, my social anxiety could never. Bitch, my social anxiety could never. But I was stuck in this situation because he calls for one person, like, waiting in line. And I was like, oh, I'm one person. He brings me into the restaurant, and he sits me with, like, a bunch of random people. And I was like, oh my god, I completely forgot that this is what this restaurant is supposed to be like. Because it's a famous place. But I just forgot one very important factor about it. And then when I sat down, I thought that everybody at the table kind of, like, knew each other. Like, they were, like, a party. And then I was, like, joining their party so i was like okay like i gotta break the ice immediately so when i sit down i'm like hey y'all like i was like super nice two of them literally did not talk only one of them did she was so nice this girl from hong kong and we we're talking a little bit and then through talking to her i realized that everybody at the table all four people including myself were there individually and so i was like oh my god like before i even got there none of them were talking like it was literally just silence and eating and that's how most people go there you just like sit down eat your food in silence i will say the french toast that i got was really fucking good and the little coffee that I got was really good. My claustrophobia, y'all, like, oh my god, I was, it's so cramped in there and it's so loud. It's kind of freaking out, but it was okay at the same time. And then at one point, this old man came down and sat next to me and he was like taking selfies with his food. And then the girl, other girl at the table offered to take a picture of him. So that made me more comfortable. And so I asked her for a video of me at the restaurant. Cause I was like, I can't take any videos here. Cause it's so cramped. But <laughs> I'm actually really glad that I went because that was really interesting. I think if I remembered that it was like that, I would not have gone, but I'm kind of glad that I got forced into it. That was the strangest eating experience I've had in my life. And then yeah, obviously I completely forgot that it was cash only, but they were so nice. Like they literally just let me leave and go to an ATM and bring cash back. So I just paid them. <laughs> I was telling the girl across from me, I was like, I did not know that like you were supposed to sit with a bunch of random people. And she was like, yeah, it's like pretty famous in Hong Kong for that. And I was like, oh, I just thought it was famous in Hong Kong just for like being a good like hole in the wall restaurant. But the whole point of the restaurant is that you just sit with a bunch of strangers. And I just like let that slip my mind. Like what? Oh God, sometimes I'm so fucking stupid. <laughs> Girl, I actually really like Hong Kong though. Like the people are really nice and it is really crowded and super claustrophobic. Like the buildings are so tall narrow streets but it's kind of a vibe i'm enjoying it i'm gonna go get like one more like real coffee and then i'm gonna figure out what else to do after that because y'all i have no plan for my last day in hong kong i'm trying to keep it chill We 
just walking thinking about how nice it is traveling when you don't have a bitch in your ear telling you you need to do X, Y, and Z. Like, honestly, I've gotten so much shit before for, like, not going and doing, like, all of the fucking cultural and touristy things, like, everywhere I go. But sometimes I just don't want to. Like, sometimes I literally just don't want to. And honestly, I'm having a better time just going at my own pace and not trying to do all the touristy shit. And in my opinion, after all the travel that I've done, if you try to do all of that touristy shit, especially in a short amount of time, then you're literally gonna be miserable. Like, you're not gonna enjoy the trip. You might think you are, but you're not. But when you do things that you actually want to do, that's when you enjoy the trip. Yo, this is so fucking bright. Like, I'm just getting my coffee. It is hot as fuck. And that's my idea of fun. Like, everybody has a different idea of fun. And this is what I like to do. So just, yeah, take this as your sign. You don't have to do all the shit that you don't want to do. Like, just do what sounds good to you. Do your idea of fun. And then you will have a really, really great trip. That doesn't mean you shouldn't, like, push yourself. Like, earlier when I went to the restaurant, I pushed myself to do that, even though I didn't really want to. And I'm really glad that I did. So things like that still turn out well. Y'all, I just got another mango coconut drink. I've had one of these every day for I think the past week, sometimes twice a day. But I just got it from Haiti and I'm at this mall. It's like a famous mall called K11. I'm probably not gonna buy anything here because it's all like designer shit, but I'm walking in for the fucking air conditioning because it is so hot. Oh my God, that feels so good. Mm. Okay, you guys know that place in Hong Kong that's like super viral with like the really giant buildings? I came here. Literally no one's here. Like there's like one other tourist here and I'm like, what happened? Because I thought this was gonna be like so busy, but there's literally no one here. I think it's definitely one of those things that you just like go and look at it really quickly and then you just like leave because there's nothing else to do here. Obviously, this is like where a bunch of other people live. Like I think 10,000 people live in these buildings. I'm kind of like, should this even be a tourist attraction? Because it's kind of, I feel like it kind of annoys the people who who live here and now I kind of feel bad for coming after thinking about it I'm too scared to ask anybody to take photos of me while I'm here so I'm not gonna do that plus the lighting's not even really that great so I don't really want a photo here anyway after coming here I'm like wait what do I do now I don't really know what to do y'all uh, okay there definitely is plenty to do in Hong Kong but I'm just like it's really overwhelming because I'm like if there's that many things I only have like the rest of the day left what time is it it's 5 p.m. right now so like I don't really have much time left anyway y'all see how much I'm sweating I've been sweating all all day. My back is covered in sweat, but I'm gonna spare you that. I don't want to show you guys that. Y'all, I really can't believe how tall all of these buildings are, and they're all just residential buildings. They're fucking huge. Like, there's more right there. They're just everywhere. I mean, I guess they need the space. I feel like the iconic part about them is that they all have, like, air conditioners out the window. That's how you can identify that it's, like, Hong Kong. I wonder if they'll ever get renovated to not have those air conditioners. I have one of those air conditioners when I lived in New York. I fucking hated it. It was right next to my bed, and I woke up with a sore throat every day. I just got back to the hotel y'all this is why i don't really wear hats that often look i sweat so much in this hat it like completely flattened out my head oh my god this feels so good i didn't take it off all day because i knew it looked so ugly underneath i need to chill out for a bit and like literally go brain dead on my phone for like an hour before i get dinner honestly i have had fun so far today i definitely have pushed myself quite a bit to like go around and like do a bunch of stuff rather than just sit in the hotel and like edit all day so i'm proud of myself for that but yeah now is rest time y'all i'm so american guess where i'm going i'm going to fucking five guys one it's really close to my hotel and two i'm not gonna be able to have it when i go back to japan because we don't have it in japan and i love five guys so i'm just getting it one last time y'all i'm so american i can't it's like right there and i'm so hungry like right now and a burger sounds amazing so let's go wait you guys the way that this is literally amazing i think i like five guys so much because it reminds me of home and every single one in asia is literally exactly the same as the ones in america like they even play the same music and the guy that i spoke to like the cashier he had like an australian accent when speaking english like he was like a native english speaker so i feel like i'm just back at home and i got my coke zero oh my god y'all this is it's like embarrassing like how much i love five guys but this is lit it's also not that busy in here so i feel really comfortable and i just have like a view of hong kong as i eat excited is an understatement but i got my cheeseburger and i'm getting my fries this is about to be the meal of a lifetime look at this y'all my burger is under all of that cheeseburger mm, yum it tastes like home
Good morning, y'all. Right now, it's 8.41 in the morning, and I think my bus is at 9.05 a.m. I need to get to the airport. I want to be there for, like, three hours so I can, like, chill in the lounge before my flight. I am a bitch who likes to get to the airport, like, really early. I'd rather chill in the lounge at the airport than just be sitting at home for hours, like, waiting to go to the airport. But today, I'm leaving Hong Kong. You guys, I only spent two days here. I honestly don't know if I need to come back. I don't know if I should say that. I don't know if it's bad for me to say that. I never really had a desire to come to Hong Kong in the first place. It was just the cheapest place to go to after China. That's why I'm here. Don't get me wrong. I'm really glad to experience it. But I'm like, do I need to come back to Hong Kong again? I don't think so. Like, I, there's a lot of stuff that I didn't do. That's true. Do I necessarily want to do those things and like come back to Hong Kong just to do those things? Not really. But I don't know, maybe in the future that would change. However, I will not get over this view. That's crazy. But I wanted to do an outro for you guys before I go to the airport. Hong Kong was a vibe. It definitely got me from point A to point C. And I'm going back to Japan now. So I guess the next time you see me will be in Japan. Y'all know what to do. Follow my Instagram. Like the video. Leave a comment. Stay vibey. I'm just gonna go do a whole bunch of nothing at the Hong Kong airport. Mwah. I'll see you in the next video. Bye. Bye.